Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I know it's been a while since I uploaded. Can't even remember my last video, but it's fine. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, as you can see from the title, it is a collective haul of things that I have collected over the past like two or three months. I'm not sure, like since the beginning of 2021. So yeah, let's just get started. I'm going to start with a few like homey type bits and then go from there. So first off, I got these super cute mugs from Urban Outfitters. So you see they're like little flowers. This one is like quite a bit more distressed than this one, but I kind of like that because it makes it even more unique that even the two that are supposed to be the same aren't the same. But then there's a surprise. You look inside and look, there's a little, a little smelly, little smelly smell. I love these mugs. I got them from Urban Outfitters. They're kind of expensive because everything at Urban Outfitters is, but I just really, really wanted them. And so I used some of our tax refund to get mugs with snails in them. Is that, is that inappropriate? I don't care if it is or not, but these were $12 each, but I highly think that they're worth it because I just, I just love them so much. Um, so let me rearrange this a little bit to make sure they don't fall off the stool that I have you guys balanced on on a giant stack of DVDs. Um, so next, also from Urban Outfitters, I got this cutie little colander. It's got little daisies and I think it's like ceramic. I'm not, I'm not sure. Is it stone? Maybe it says dishwash, dishwasher safe, but don't microwave. Yeah, I'm not sure. Made in China. Um, so I haven't used this as like a colander yet, but I really like putting fruit in it and then like leaving it out for people to grab fruit, like little mandarins or apples or something. Um, but it's just, it's so cute. I got this on sale a little while back. I don't remember. It was also like on sale for 12 bucks or something from the original price was 18, but I didn't pay $18 for this. I also thought it was going to be quite a bit bigger than this, but it wasn't. And that's okay because it's cute and I got it on sale and it holds a good bit of fruit. So love this. Got to find where to put everything. I have everything in a box that I'm grabbing out of, but I didn't think about where I was going to put everything once I took it out of the box. So another homey type bit. I got this for Zach. It is a milk frother. You just hit this little button. I haven't actually used it myself, so <laughs> that was a little scary. Um, I also got this from Urban Outfitters. I think this was $12. It just says hello on it. I don't know if that's like the brand or something, but he has been trying to froth milk for lattes just using like a spoon and a whisk or, or something like milk in a cup and a microwave i don't know but it hasn't been working so finally i was just like i'm buying you this electronic thingy that i see everybody on youtube using and so far he's really enjoyed it so i think it was a good purchase so let me grab the next item out of my handy dandy box so next, I got this candle from Bath & Body Works. It's Honeysuckle and Freesia, I think is how you pronounce it. It's like glaring, so I don't know if you'll be able to read it. It's really cute. It smells <sighs> heavenly. It smells so good. I haven't lit it yet because we're currently working on renovating. Not really like renovating, but painting and fixing up our living room. And I feel like with the color we chose for our walls, which I'm doing a whole separate video on like the before and after of our living room and like the process. So you'll see the color of the walls and everything when that video comes out. But I feel like this color just goes perfectly with the color we picked for our walls. 
the color for our walls is not pink but I just feel like the colors complement each other really well so I really want this candle to make its debut in the living room once it's fixed up which I just got confirmation today that our sofa shipped which is one of the last things we need for our living room to be complete so hopefully that video will be soon I'm hoping but we shall see keep you updated um so a next homey bit i need to dig out of the box are these cutie patootie placemats Ta-da! just this cute little placemat with a little embroidered flower at the bottom it's not too thick or anything um but I really wanted to have placemats because our counters are quartz and you have to be careful with like what you put on it and stuff. And we're both kind of messy eaters and I didn't want to get like food all over the counters and then constantly have to be cleaning it because we have to use like a certain cleaner I have discovered just to keep up the quality of the quartz. Um, keep it in good shape and everything and so I don't want to like constantly be getting food or something on it and then Having to clean it all the time and then wear it down quicker. Obviously, it would still take a long time for it to wear down But just I just want to keep it in good shape, you know Because we don't have money to just go out and buy new fancy countertops if we happen to ruin these So yeah, I got four of those the tag says that they're $4.99, but I checked and I paid $7.99. So I don't know why the tag says that they were on sale for $4.99. See, did, did, oh, these were also from Urban Outfitters. Did they like, did they chip me? Not gonna be happening. Just kidding. It's not that big a deal. Um, so I think that's all the home bits I got. So I did get one book that I wanted to share with you. It is actually a devotional by Lisa Turkerst. It's called Embraced 100 Devotions to Know God is Holding You Close. And I love Lisa Turkerst. If you're looking for any type of book, she's probably got it. I'm like obsessed with her books. I have um, Forgiving What You Can't Forget, the book and the journal. I have her First and Second Kings devotional. It's more like a Bible study, but like you're supposed to do it in a group but I don't have a group so I just kind of do it on my own and I have uninvited I have to be honest I haven't finished any of them but I've started all of them and they're all amazing and I think I need to stop buying them until I finish one but I just want all of them because they're all so good and I just I can't recommend her enough so good so next I have a bunch of makeup slash beauty products so we're just gonna try and snappy through this. So first is the skincare thing. I got this CeraVe Ultra Light Moisturizing Lotion with sunscreen. It has SPF 30. I just wanted, oh, also has hyaluronic acid, which I really like. I wanted a good sunscreen for my face um, that I didn't have to pay, you know, 30, 40 bucks for. So this one was just from Target. It was just like, $14 or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but it had super good reviews. So hoping that this works with my skin. I haven't actually tried it yet. So I'm just going to grab the box and bring it over here so I don't have to keep reaching over. Next, uh, I can't remember when I got this. It's been, this might be the oldest product in the haul that I've gotten. It's this Laneige lip sleeping mask in grapefruit. I know like the reason I got this was because everybody talked about it. I found it at TJ Maxx and I've used it quite a bit and I love it, you guys. It's so good. Um, the tiniest bit goes the longest way. Like I've used this, it smells so good. You see that little dent? I've used this like between five and 10 times. I know that's kind of a broad number, but I can't say for sure. <laughs> because it's been like three months that I've had this and like, it was so worth it. I got it at TJ Maxx, so it wasn't full price. I know this is like a pretty pricey product if you get it full price, but I just paid $14.99 for it. It says compare it 20, but I'm pretty sure it's more expensive than that if you buy it full price. So if you're looking for this 
TJ Maxx has had them. So if you want to keep your eyes peeled. So next I did get the Tatcha Silk Canvas Powder. I haven't tried it yet. Super excited. I actually bought this the day it came out. It also comes with a little sample of the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I actually own that too. I got it with Christmas money. But it is just, I just love their purple. Their purple packaging is so cute. So cute. I just love it. Let's see what the inside looks like. If I can open it. It's got this little tabby thing. I'm not going to open it right now because I'm going to do like a video where I test out some of these new products in this in this video because I have some pretty exciting things. So I love that. I love this even though I haven't tried it. <laughs> I guess I can't say that. But I have seen really good reviews so I'm excited to give this a try. Plus I'm obsessed with powder. It's my favorite makeup product because I just love the way it makes my skin look. So next, I got the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist Hydrating Plus Glowing Radiance. Um, can't remember who I saw that tried this, but I've been using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner, and I really, really like it. It's been, like, working really well for my skin, so here's the bottle. looks so pretty. looks so cute. Um, so yeah. I will probably be testing this out in the same video that I test out the powder. So if you want to see my review of this, stay tuned. Next, Too Faced had their big semi-annual sale. So I picked up a Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. This is my favorite powder of all time. It was, on, it was like 50 or 60% off. So I actually already have this, but I got this one while it was on sale to have as a backup for when I run out of my other one. Some people might think that's overkill, but I don't care. It is what it is. And also during that sale, I got the mini gingerbread spice palette. I had them in my eye on this for quite some time since they first came out with it. It is so cute. But I did not want to pay full price for it, so I grabbed it during the sale. I think this one was 60% off. It's super pretty. It's super cute. It smells like vanilla. It's just... I'm excited to have this. It's got a little gingerbread man on the back. So cute. I am a sucker for cute things. And I honestly want all of the Too Faced mini palettes. But that would be a little crazy. And I don't have that much money, so... Next, I got this Jouer Blush Boutique Dual Blush Palette in the shades Flirt. I just thought this was so pretty. Even the packaging. Look how beautiful that is. I think I was inspired to get this because of Laura Lee's makeup clear out. I can't remember, honestly. So it's pretty. The shade there on the right, you look, you can see all my DVDs, <laughs> is super light. And then the one on the left is a little bit more dark. So the darker shade is Kiss Me and the lighter shade is Touch Me. But please do not do that because that's kind of weird. So I'm also going to be using this in the testing new makeup video. And then last but not least, I feel like I've been talking like super fast, but last but certainly, my friends, not least, I did a thing, I need to confess, I bought the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. I did. Me and Zach, we decided to give each other an allowance using some of the stimulus money before we put the rest to good use. And I used mine to get this palette. It just, it just came out. 
Monday. Today is Wednesday. It just came out on Monday. I bought it on Monday. The same day our stimulus was deposited. It is so pretty. Look at those colors, you guys. Oh my gosh. It is beautiful. I have a problem. Ever since that got me the Natasha Dana Tropic palette on sale for my birthday last year, it's just been downhill. I think I have, let's see, how many Natasha Dana products? Got to three of, I've got, this is my largest palette, and then I've got two. I've got the Tropic one, I've got the Love one, I've got the Mini Love, and I've got two of her blush palettes. The one that just came out not that long ago, and then the one that came out last year. The two pan one from this year and the four pan one from last year. Who am I anymore, you guys? Who am I? I don't know. But, alas, I hope you are excited to see the video where I test all of those things out because I may even just film it like immediately after this video because I'm so excited. I'm, I'm like bursting at the seams. I'm so excited. So, that is everything I have. I know I kind of went through it kind of speedily, but there was a lot of things and I didn't want this video to be forever long. I can see the timestamp at the top because I'm filming on my phone, um, which I'm also, I also got a new phone because my other one was kind of kicking the bucket a little bit. And so this new phone actually comes with iMovie on it. And so I'm going to be testing that out for editing this video, seeing like what, what all I can do. Just thought I saw something weird in my hair. It's fine. Um, so yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Maybe. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. If not, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys again very soon. Bye guys.